Good fried breakfast right on the jetty at Harwich. Couldn't be better. <laughs> I was expecting Harwich to be just a, a boring concrete ferry terminal, but in fact Harwich town itself is a quirky little place and a time walk, lots of little pubs. We've just moored on Hapney Quay, which is just behind us, a small quay in the middle of the town, really friendly reception from the harbour staff, great place to stay overnight, only £10. Right, moving on now, heading north up the coast, next stop Lowestoft. It's not cheap doing this trip, is it? And we've got a few more of those to go along the way yet. We'd left Falmouth sooner than we'd been planning, so I hadn't even had time to properly unwrap and check a couple of items of new equipment. So the afternoon in Lowestoft was a good chance to do this. We'd bought a petrol generator for those times when we might be stuck on a mooring and unable to charge our batteries from shore power. I think we're ready to go. That's phase one done. On the next thing, we got a, a brand new inflatable and engine, so we thought we'd take the opportunity of uh, getting that pumped up, getting the engine running, and having a little pot around Lowestoft Harbour to uh, make sure we can run it in and that everything's good. <laughs> This is one of the sights I'd really been looking forward to seeing on the voyage. We're off Great Yarmouth, we've just left Lowestoft, it's early in the morning, and we're among one of the wind farms off the east coast. It's kind of spooky because they're not turning at all. I'd love to see them actually turning, but then I don't suppose we'd be out here on this boat if there was a strong wind blowing. But it's just kind of spooky seeing them here in the morning mist, just not moving at all. We left Lowestoft at about half six this morning. We've got a long slog ahead up to Hull. I reckon it's going to be about seven or eight hours. There's no real harbours that we're looking to visit in between. We're going to cut way offshore across the wash. We need to get to Hull in good time this afternoon because we've got to pick up some more chips for our navigation system. We've actually got so far ahead of ourselves due to the good weather that we've run out of navigation aids. So we need to get there before these shucks at Easter weekend and uh, they close at five o'clock this afternoon, Saturday. So we're just going to head north and uh, hope the weather stays calm. Oh, this is Cromer. It's the last bit of land we're going to see until we get across to Hull because we're going to cut across the wash. Probably about three or four hour crossing I'm thinking, but I have no idea. <laughs> 